Ten bad bitches in a match. Rich soul, Millie rock them diamonds. Take number three. <laughs> Hi guys, thank you for choosing my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a Q&A, a about me tag kind of thing. Um, basically I have like maybe 50 or more questions that I have been asked and we're gonna go right ahead and get to the questions. Okay, so the first question that I have is do you sleep naked? Of course, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you? It's the best thing in the world, I'm serious, you should try it. Um, what would be the first thing you would buy if you had one million dollars? The first thing I would do is I would like to put like 75% of it in savings and keep it for the rest of my life and start my business. Start a business, get wealthy. Once you're wealthy, then that million dollars, girl. You go shopping, Christian Louis Vuitton. <laughs> so what is the best gift you've ever given? Well, this Christmas, I bought my mom an iPhone 7. Uh, gold that's the best gift that's the most expensive gift I ever bought anyone um uh, what year were you born I was born in 1998 90s babies hey um I'm 18 I will be 19 in on February 16th so, do you speak multiple languages nope I only speak English oh wait 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 okay so here's a little story. Okay, so I speak English, and my first job was McDonald's. And the area that I was living in, it was, like, majority, like, Hispanics. And so, like, I learned a lot, a lot of Spanish. Like, I was taking orders in Spanish and everything. It was so amazing. People were like... You know Spanish? I'm like, si, sí, si. Sí. Si. Sí. Yo necesita. <laughs> okay, so next question that I have is... Do you like Disney movies? Of course, I grew up on Disney movies. Disney movies, that was like my childhood. Like, I used to always stay on Disney Channel. Like, it was like, <sighs> amazing. So the next question that I have is, have you ever been depressed? Yeah, I think everybody has. Um, I've been depressed because my childhood. I didn't really have a good childhood growing up, but that is another video. Um, Another question is, what is your biggest pet peeve? Oh! Smacking. I freaking hate smacking. Like, oh, I hate it. Oh my god, I have this weird. It's weird. I hate when people like breathe like really hard. Like, no shade. Oh my god, that gets on my nerves. And I think that's it important to you looks of personality personality of course um personally like if i can there's been cases where there have been people that weren't really attractive but we clicked like instantly like we had conversations it was like amazing it was like a great vibe there have also been fine sexy dark chocolate light skin and we didn't really vibe it was like they were too into their selves so i was like oh. I'm the princess. Okay, so the next question that I got is, what are your top five favorite songs? Okay, so I have maybe, okay, I can have five, okay. So the first song is Demi Lovato, Stone Cold. The next song is, well, there's two songs by Kelly. The first song by Kelly is Crazy, and the other song by Kelly is Distraction. Um, the other song that I really, really like is Ariana Grande, Side to Side, featuring Nicki Minaj. And the other song that I really, really like is, um, I'm So Into You by Ariana Grande. That is like, ah, I love those songs. Okay, so the next question that I got is, would you rather date a hot but uneducated person or an unattractive but extremely educated person? Um, well, I mean, this, this kind of like, I would rather date an unattractive, educated person. I'm not really shallow, you guys. Stop. No. So, what song is played most on your iPod, iPhone, or etc.? The song that's played most is Stone Cold by Demi Lovato. Like, it's such a touching song. It's so beautiful. She really just put all her emotions into it. And that goes with Kelly Me Crazy and Kelly Me Distraction. Like, oh my god. Ah, I love that song. Um, what country do you come from? The United States? Are you listening to music at the moment? <gasps> No, that would be rude. I'm recording my video for my YouTube channel. Hey! Okay, so I'm at the scroll down. Sorry, I have these screenshotted. Do you sleep naked? Oh, wait. I think I... 
<laughs> I asked that already. <laughs> do you have any children? No, I do not have any children. Are you single or in a relationship? I'm single at the moment until somebody decides to treat me like a princess and, you know, be real and stop being a fuckboy. So, I'm single. Pizza or nachos? Nachos with extra cheese, extra meat. Thank you. Add a little bit of steak. Who is your, what is your favorite gift? I like the, like the Nene Leaks one when she's like, like, or, like, she's doing some type of face. It's so funny. Do you like Taylor Swift? Uh, she's okay. I grew up, I really, I didn't say I grew up on her, but when I was younger, I used to really, really like her. I thought I love, because I used to love country music. Like, I, I grew up on country music, so I just grew up to love country music. So. What time do you usually fall asleep? Um, I, I would say I fall asleep maybe around, I stay at like really late, maybe like 3 or 4, wake up at like 12. Do you like llamas? They are a big non-factor in my life. Do you like pancakes? Oh, yes, I love all types of breakfast foods. Oh, speaking of breakfast, my mom had made these breakfast taco burrito things. Oh my God, they were so, so good. What is the most nastiest thing you've ever eaten? Um, the most, oh, olives. Oh my God, I hate olives. Like, they are so, ugh. The aftertaste is just. When was the last time you said I love you to someone? Um, I recently had a friend, he's not really feeling really good, and we've been talking for like a really, really long time, so you know, I'm just giving my respects, I love you, I hope you get better, etc, etc. Are you a vegetarian? No, I love meat. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal would have to be a... I like leopards. Have you ever got caught doing something bad or embarrassing? If so, what did you do and what did you get caught by? Oh, that is a story time. I'm not answering this. <laughs> that will be a story time, you guys. That will be a story time. A story time. Just wait on it. Just wait on it. Wait on it. We got time, girl. We got time. Yes, we do. Okay, so the next question I got, they are uh, regarding my transition. So the questions that I got were, what is your name? Um, I go by Jordan Dior. I think it's like a cute, like fun, like, it sounds expensive. Jordan Dior. Jordan Dior, Jordan Dior, Jordan Dior. Ah! Who has been most supportive of your transgender? I'm, uh, blah, 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 sorry. Who has been most supportive of your transition or gender expression? Um, the person that has been most supportive of me, I would say myself. Um, I don't really have anyone that's just like there for me. I guess you can say like I do everything on my own. I'm transitioning on my own. Everything that I do is gonna be on my own. So. What do you most enjoy about your life since beginning transition? What I enjoy most is just me being able to express myself, me being able to be happy within myself without having to battle, you know? I mean, what I mean by battle is having a mentally, like a mental battle within yourself of you not accepting yourself. That is, it's really draining. Who are your trans role models? Gigi Gorgeous and Laverne Cox and... Oh, he's not transgender. His name is Malibu Dollface. And he is a very inspirational person. Like, he gives really, really good advice. And he's very honest. And he slays. Like, literally. He slays. Like, take the hair at your scalp. Like, it's serious. It's serious. It's serious. Okay, so what changes would you like to see most in the world? Basically, I would like the world to not be as violent as it is. Um, I would also like people to try and... Like, try to understand each other. Like, you don't have to know everything about them, but just understand that everybody goes through stuff, you know? You're not the only one that's having a problem. You're not the only one that's having a downfall in their life. Just try to be more understanding and stop being so... Ugh. Okay, so the next question I got is also transgender-related. Um, what are you doing... Surgeries? Oh, what kind of surgeries will you be getting? Um... <clears throat> Well, the surgery that I want to get first would have to be FFS. FFS is a facial feminization surgery. Um, basically, there are parts and features on a male face that differs from a female's face. Like, as far as, like, let me turn, sorry. So, as far as, like, like the forehead goes and the eyebrows, um, the jawline, and, like, the how far the lip goes, there's different... Sorry. 
there's different like aspects of the faces between the two genders and I want to get mine changed because I feel like I mean I don't feel like I just look like I mean but I would like to be a little bit more feminized that is the goal isn't it what about your transition excites you the most um basically it's like your future the future it really gets me excited like not who will I be but like you know at the end of the road like I'm excited like I'm finally like I, my what I look like fits with who I am basically okay so the next question that I got they're not transgender related they're just like really random um is are you happy right now um mm, no I'm not really happy right now honestly I feel like I'm not really where I want to be yet um but that's why this year I'm doing everything I'm putting my mind to everything like as far as my YouTube channel goes I've been really wanting to make one for like a really long time maybe for like three years now and I'm just getting started I just felt like I didn't have enough equipment to get started or anything like that so I was a little discouraged because I do want good quality I do want to put out good content and I also want you know I want people to be entertained so yeah oh but i'm not happy yet i still have a lot to go i still have to grow mentally and you know financially and all of those good type of things so yeah are you tired right now <gasps> do i look tired what was your last wish um i don't really have a last wish i didn't wish make me cunt <laughs> are you secretly a ninja of course Yes, I literally slay you hoes. Okay, do you remember your first kiss? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> it was in <laughs> it was in third grade with this dude. I'm not gonna say his name, we're just gonna call him John. <laughs> John. So basically like me and John, we were just like like in love. We were gonna get married, he was gonna get me pregnant, and we were gonna live happy happily ever after. But where is he now? Okay, so who is the last person you called? My mom. To go to Starbucks. Can you swim? Oh my god, I feel like I can, but I can't at the same time. Like, when I go swimming, I'm like so terrified. Like, oh my god. When I go swimming, it's like, oh. I mean, I can swim a little bit, like doggy paddle, but I can't do all of that. I can't do all of that. Okay, and. If you could remain a certain age forever, what age would you choose? I would choose to be like 25 or something. Because you already like, you're already grown, but you're not like old yet. Um, You're mature. And that's what, that's the age I really want to have like everything together financially, physically, mentally. I want to be, you know, that's my goal. I, my lifestyle needs to be up to par when I'm 25 and thank you guys this has concluded the about me question tag and I will be doing more on this channel just stay tuned there's a lot more in store for you guys um so thank you for watching this video be sure to comment like and subscribe and I'll be back with you with more content okay baby peace